We've already learned all the forms of the indicative in Spanish. Today, we're going to learn the verb forms for the subjunctive mood. But first, let's make sure that we know exactly what those two terms, indicative and subjunctive, mean. The indicative mood indicates or points something out. It is factual, objective, and can stand alone. On the contrary, the subjunctive mood doesn't point out anything. It is not factual. It is subjective rather than objective. And it always depends upon something else. The indicative mood gives real factual information. The subjunctive mood expresses what may or may not happen. The information is not necessarily real. For example, Victor estudia mucho. Victor studies a lot. It is a real fact. It doesn't depend on any outside circumstances. Los padres de Javier quieren que él estudie mucho. Javier's parents want him to study a lot, but does he? Who knows? Insisto en que Javier estudie mucho. But even though I insist, maybe Javier will study and maybe he won't. Es importante que Javier estudie mucho. Even though it is important for Javier to study a lot, and he's certainly not going to pass my class if he doesn't, Javier may or may not study. Es necesario que Javier estudie mucho. It is necessary, but Javier may have more than his studies on his mind. Let's look at those sentences again. The first sentence is a simple statement of fact, and it is in the indicative, estudia. In each of the following sentences, a word comes before the subjunctive, que, a relative pronoun. In the second sentence, que él estudie mucho, is a dependent clause. Dependent upon what? Los padres de Javier quieren. In the third sentence, the clause depends upon insisto en. In the fourth sentence, the clause depends upon es importante. And the last sentence, es necesario. One more very important point. What is the ending of the verb estudiar in each of these sentences? In the indicative form, it's estudia. And in each of the four dependent clauses, estudie, which is the subjunctive form. The subjunctive ending is e, not the usual a of an ar verb. The subjunctive endings are the opposite of the indicative endings. To get the root or the stem for the present subjunctive, you drop the o ending of the indicative yo form. To these stems, you add the subjunctive endings. Hable, coma, viva, hables, comas, vivas. Hable, coma, viva. Hablemos, comamos, vivamos. Hables, comáis, viváis. Hablen, coman, vivan. Note again that the subjunctive endings are the opposite of the indicative endings. AR verbs use the vowel E, and ER and IR verbs use the vowel A. Since the stem for the present subjunctive is the yo form of the indicative, and since almost all verbs form the present subjunctive in the same way, most irregular verbs in the indicative are actually regular in the present subjunctive. Let's have a look. First, we find the stem from the present tense of the indicative yo form by dropping the o ending from ago, pongo, and traigo. Next, we add the subjunctive endings. Aga, ponga, traiga. Agas, pongas, traigas. Aga, ponga, traiga. Agamos, pongamos, Tragamos. Hagáis, pongáis, tragáis. Hagan, pongan, traigan. Salga, tenga, venga. Salgas, tengas, vengas. Salga, tenga, venga. Salgamos, tengamos, vengamos. Salgáis, tengáis, vengáis. Salgan, Vengan, vengan.
Diga, conozca. Digas, conozcas. Diga, conozca. Digamos, conozcamos. Digáis, conozcáis. Digan, conozcan. Most stem-changing verbs have the same stem change in the subjunctive as they have in the indicative. For instance, in the verb querer, the E changes to IE. And in the verb poder, the O changes to UE. Quiera, pueda. Quieras, puedas. Quiera, pueda. Queramos, podamos. Queráis, podáis. Quieran, puedan. But verbs like pedir and repetir have a stem change in all forms of the present subjunctive. Pida, repita. Pidas, repitas. Pida, repita. Pidamos, repitamos. Pidáis, repitáis. Pidan, repitan. And pay special attention to the forms of the verb dormir. Duerma, duermas. Duerma, duerman. But... Durmamos and durmais. Remember that we use the subjunctive in any dependent clause introduced by que when it is not known if the information is real. It may or may not be. Here are a few examples. Es importante que estudiemos. Quiero que mis estudiantes hablen italiano. Ahora prefiero que tú lo hagas. Es necesario que durmamos. Es imposible que todos vengan. Introduction to the subjunctive. Are you ready to practice using the subjunctive? Complete each sentence with the correct form of the verb in parentheses. Good luck. Estudie. La madre de Karina prefiere que ella estudie todos los días. Hagan. El profesor insiste en que todos hagan la tarea. Durmamos. Es importante que nosotros durmamos ocho horas cada noche. Pueda. Mis amigos quieren que yo pueda salir el viernes. Conduzcas. Es necesario que tú conduzcas con mucho cuidado. Pida. Quiero que Raúl pida la cuenta. Digan. La abuela insiste en que los nietos le digan todo. Esperemos. Es necesario que nosotros esperemos el tren en el andén. Adiós. 